We're in Windows 2008. We're going to take a look at Active Directory Users and Computers. You can get there by clicking on the Start button. It brings up the new interface. Scroll all the way to the right and click on Active Directory. All right, from here we see the new interface. The inside looks pretty much the same, but uh, all around it has that Metro look. You can click on the various different areas and you see pretty much the same users and groups that you saw previously. But we do see some new ones like the allowed RODC password replication group and of course the denied one as well. There's our built-in groups and we'll go ahead and create a new user Choose the domain here if you have more than one domain. This is the pre Windows 2000 login. Click next. Password, of course, has to be have at least one cap and one number. You can uncheck the user must change password and check password never expires or any combination. Click next and finish. From here, we can move our test user just by right clicking and choosing move and we can choose the location that we want or as in Windows 2008 we can just pick up and drag it to wherever we want if we right click on the domain go to properties this is what it looks like it shows our functional level at this point, the domain enforced functional level does not work in Windows 8. The, uh, this is the, the dev copy, so the best we can do is 2008R2. Management information. We also see we can raise functional level, choose the operation masters. This also looks the same as it did in the previous version, just a slightly different interface. And that's a look at Windows Server 8, Active Directory Users and Computers.